This right here is a Lego starter kit. Look at that. Give me some cuddles. Come on. Ah! Oh, beautiful, look at this. That's the bait we're gonna be using. I'm gonna put that stink bait right in there. Oh, crap, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. I ain't sticking my hand in that hole. What the heck, oh, oh, my. oh right there. Oh, there's, a, there's a thousand fish right there. Oh, wait, what? look, there's something right here. What's Gucci Raw fam? Today we're over here by my mini koi pond. For those of you guys that don't know, this pond right here is filled with a bunch of beautiful baby Japanese koi fish. They are so beautiful and so cute, but there is one huge issue. The koi are like over here and there's so much more room for us to add a bunch of new crazy aquarium fish. What better way to go catch some beautiful, colorful fish than making an epic fish trap and that starts at Walmart. Oh, I'm gonna miss Prime. Give me some cuddles. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Okay, it's time to go to Walmart. Um, I'll see you guys there. This right here is a Lego starter kit and it's literally filled with all different types of Legos that we're gonna need to build an epic fish trap. But this is not the only thing we're gonna need. Hmm. Do, do, you, do you guys see it? I, I think it's over here. Oh snap, here we go. This is exactly what we're gonna need to actually build this Lego fish trap. So we have everything we need to make the most epic Lego fish trap. There, there is one thing I wanna test out. Um, Come with me, come, come. Oh look, come here, come look at this. Oh snap, this right here is actually a little net and during these challenges, whenever we build these like Lego fish traps, we're always just like sitting around for 10, 15, 20 minutes, but it would make the time pass a lot quicker if we had like a little net to catch a bunch of little critters that are along the shore at the fishing spot. So we got an extra little net, let's get out of here and go build this epic little fish trap. And the last one, the total cost for today's build, $45.69. Let's do this thing. We have our Legos right here and we have these things. Now, for this build, we're actually gonna be opening up one of these, look look right here. One of these like classic Lego things that would open and voila, look at that. This right here is actually a blue like pad that actually has adapters all right here to actually put the Legos on. So this is the foundation for our fish trap. Cool. All right, we're gonna be building right off this thing. And I believe it's actually the perfect size for our fish trap. I don't think we're gonna have to cut this down at all. Next, we actually have to open up our Legos so we can start putting them on. So, um, how the heck do we... There's our Legos. This, honestly, might be a little deceiving, but I don't think we're gonna have enough for the fish trap, so, uh, dang it. I actually thought it came with a lot more Legos. All right, we're gonna have to make do with what we got. Okay, Lego instructions. Make sure you're subscribed to Raw Fishing on YouTube, put post notifications on, and like the video. What the heck? Um, did you guys follow the instructions? Yeah, make sure you guys definitely follow these legit instructions. All right, let's build this thing. Open the bag. Oh. Oh. Two for one special from the man himself. Oh. Yeah, we, we might be making a mini fish trap this time because <laughs> uh, this does not look like a lot of Legos. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right, so the first thing we have to do is let's color coordinate all of the Legos. All right, Raw fam, so now that all of our beautiful little Legos are all in their own little like color pattern groups or whatever, <laughs> we're gonna start building our fish trap. All right, let's do it. All right, looks like red's up first and Okay, I wanna mark out where the door is gonna be. So this has to be like the size of a door right here. Double checking, it's perfect. Yeah, I don't think we have enough Legos. Yo, look what I just found. So I literally just went back into the shed where we have all of our video ideas and I found another set of Legos. So we're not gonna have to cut this little thing right here. We just gotta add these Legos to the rest of all of the mix, so. Oh crap, uh, here we go, don't need that. <laughs> I feel like I'm living every kid's dream job by making these little Lego stuff. So if you guys think I'm living the dream, then uh, make sure you guys like the video down below and uh, maybe I'll keep making the vids. Two for one special. Boom. Hey, let's organize these things. 
All right, Raw fam, let the build begin right now. All right, guys, the first thing is to mark where our doors are gonna go. All right, now that those are set up, the fish trap is ready to go. So we already did our red, move over here. Blue, I guess. And let the assembly begin. So our foundation is finally in. That is so cool, see that? Beautiful. Now we have to start adding some of these unorthodox weird long pieces to lock all these in, so. All right guys, look at that. That is our, uh, our like mini second row. Now we really gotta start adding some strength to this thing, because remember, these doors are gonna pop out. We're only probably gonna go one or two more rows high. All right, Raw fam, so now some of the most important Legos on the whole board. We gotta make our door, you see this? Open that right there. Get our big Lego back, like that. Lock that in right there. And then... <sighs> Nobody said the Lego life was gonna be easy. But if someone has to be selected as tribute, I guess I will eat the Infinity Lego. <gasps> Ow! And now, the moment that we've all been waiting for. The second round pick in the 2024 NBA draft is your mom. Okay, so I think this is how the Lego fish trap is gonna be. You see the opening right there? I think we're just gonna have to live with that ginormous opening and then we had to go like that. But I think this thing will absolutely fall apart if I keep messing with it. So we need to get some construction tools. So that's what it looks like before. And with the help from my buddy, Bob the Builder. And uh, ow! Oh, that hurt. Ow, the Legos hurt. <gasps> okay, so what what happens if this fails? Is there like repercussions at all? Because like this is two seconds away from just exploding. <gasps> we did it, we did it, we did it. Bro guys, we're connecting Legos with nails. <laughs> <gasps> Our top is on. Our top is on. Are you subscribed, bro? Click that subscribe button! Oh my god. Goodness, I, I guess just listen to him. What, what was that? And put post notifications on. Uh, you, you heard him. <laughs> We're just gonna have to keep going and uh, hope, hope for the best. Just like that, let's just stay like that. Why, right, thank you. Cause, cause it, just, it, it just does, okay? It does. Nice. Oh crap, we're filming. Okay, well, a couple more. <laughs> this is another one of those weird ones. Don't judge me, just leave it. Okay, just just leave it, okay? We're, we're, gonna, leave, we're gonna leave that one there. <gasps> Holy crap, Ron! I think we've done it! We've discovered the Chamber of Secrets! Or we just honestly learned how to make a freaking bad to the bone DIY Lego fish trap. If you can hear me say, subscribe, baby boys! This right here is our Lego fish trap, and all we honestly have to do is add a little bit of bait right inside of that, right there, just a little bit of bait, so we can hopefully, fingers crossed, catch a beautiful little new pet fish for my beautiful mini pond filled with Japanese koi fish. All right, what are we waiting on, Raw fam? We built the fish trap, now let's get out of here and go test it. All right, Raw fam, so we just got over to the fishing spot. We have our little Lego fish trap right here, and I think it's time to fill up our little bucket because who knows, if we catch a big old aquarium fish or maybe some food for Jaws or Prime or any of the fish at the Raw fam, we do not want to get caught with our uh, with our pants down. So uh, let's fill this up and uh, get ready to put the fish trap in the water. All right, let me just put this right here for a sec. Looking around, there's actually a bunch of fish all over the place, so that little net that we actually got should really come in handy today. Nice, the water viz, look at that. The water viz for today is very, very nice. The water's not stirred up. Should be very easy for us to catch some really cool, interesting fish. Now, I've actually been fishing out of this canal for a couple years now, and all the way up and down this little bank right here, we've saved millions of tadpoles. Like, like a couple years ago, we've actually caught and saved beautiful little cichlid, like a, a escaped aquarium fish inside of this little canal. So, guys, who knows what we're gonna catch in today's video? Right over here, I know, is just a thousand million little baby aquarium fish in all different colors. There's like little cichlids, there's like little guppies, and even better, there is some nice, beautiful, massive predators that would love to go in our fish trap. 
So uh, yeah, let's grab it. All right, Royal Fam, so because we're trying to catch wild aquarium fish today, we have to use what the fish are normally used to eating, and that is beautiful live minnows. So we have our little fish trap right here. I'm gonna put that down, but I have this little net that we also got from Walmart. If you guys come look, you see all those little minnows right there? Oh, beautiful, look at this. Wow, look at that. Oh, this one's like Dalmatian, look at that. You see, can you zoom in on the leaf? See the little Dalmatians on that little guy? Oh, he's so sick. So we're actually gonna release the Dalmatian one because that guy's super rare. Oh, go on, little buddy. But these little boogers right here, we're going to squish their heads up a little bit. Just so that's the bait we're gonna be using for today's fish traps. You see that? Beautiful. Wow, look at that. That is so epic. Now, once we get enough of these little minnows right here, we're gonna put them inside of the trap so we can attract predators. And then once we set the trap, we also have a super epic surprise for you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned. But let me put these little boogers in here. Come. Look, you see that? I'm gonna just put those inside of the trap, okay? Now we just need a couple more. Oh. Come on, anything in here? Ah, ew, ew, is this a, oh my God, what is that? Look how, ew, is that a jellyfish? Oh my God, that was disgusting. <laughs> my hands don't stink, do you see that? Ew, that was really gross, okay. Holy crap, there's a bunch of fishies out there. Oh, I see the Dalmatian one, come here. Bro, I gotta kick off the Miami Heat shoes. I gotta kick those guys off, I want this guy. Bro, there's literally a rare aquarium fish right here. No, I missed him. Oh my God, ew. Uh, uh, uh. There's a thousand fish right here, you ready? Oh my God, oh my God. Look how many fish I just got. Look at this, look at all the fish. Okay, that's perfect bait. So I gotta squish that one so he doesn't jump away. Get that little booger so he doesn't jump away. Perfect, we got three more baits for the fish trap right there. Oh my God, okay, I got a couple more. Okay, yeah, we got a bunch, Royal Fam. Look at this. Look at this. I have to show you guys this. Look at all. Look, that one's pregnant for sure. We might want to keep that one alive. Look at that. You see that one? See her big belly right there? All right, we're going to keep that one alive, but the other ones are going inside the trap as bait. Boom, boom. Oh, that one goes. Look, you see these guys? That one's bait. And then, sorry, buddy, that one's bait. And you see that one right there? That right there is a pregnant, beautiful, little, like, guppy-looking thing. All right, we already have water inside of the bucket. Come on, come on. We're actually, I, I should probably have the bucket with me full time. Come. Look, you see that pregnant one right there? I'm just gonna, doop. There she goes. Is she in there? Where is she? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, booger. And you see all that bait right there? That is really yummy bait. So guys, remember, whether or not you're fishing in fresh water or salt water, look right here. I'm gonna put that stink bait right in there. Dead fish always attracts other fish. So if I could say that like dead fish right there would attract something, I'd probably say it's gonna attract like catfish, like massive red tail catfish, tiger shovel nose, hybrids, like all these like cool, like non-native fish. Hey, 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 hey. And between you and me, some of those really rare fish are the most aggressive. So if we can catch those, that's an A plus for us. All right, who knows if it's gonna be today, but do you think that's enough bait or should I go with one, one or two more scoops? All right, guys, I think that's all the bait we're gonna get. Baits are getting really finicky, but we got one, two, three, four. Yeah, we got like five or six baits. Beautiful, oh my God, there's more. We got like eight baits. Okay, look at all the little baits we just got. All right guys, so we're gonna add a couple more minnows right there to our fish trap. So just throw them right in there. Holy crap, there's a lot in there. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, eleven. <laughs> and probably like 40 minnows. Perfect. All right, Raw fam, to the, the, the fishing spot, right? Yeah, this way, right? <laughs> all right. You always make sure that you scoop up these nooks when you're going along. Because a lot of fish love to literally live right in there. Wait, let's go to the street real quick. A lot of fish really love to live all up in that. There should be a billion little like shrimps and stuff. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, crap. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, he's a lively one. Look at that. So this is like a little lobster right there. That right there is a crayfish. Put that right there for a second. Is there another one? Is there another one. Oh, he's trying to get back to, he, he wants to get back all up in that. See, he's going back where he came from. He's like, put me back in my home, put me back in my home. But we're gonna bring this guy back to the raw fam. And uh, let's go put this guy in the bucket. All right, let me just uh, 
I will leave that there. And this is what I'm talking about, Raw Fam. When we're adding this to our mini pond in the ground with all the koi, this is gonna be something perfect because all the babies that this guy produces will literally be koi food. Whoop. It's all about making a little ecosystem. So, one crawfish down. Bro, give me some. Let's do it, baby. We already have our fish trap baited, so let's try this thing. Come on. Holy crap. Look at all those fish right there. Bro, there's like a thousand fish right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, aquarium fish right there. Okay, this is the spot we needed to do the trap. I was gonna go net, but there's like cichlids and colorful like things all right here. That white spot is a bed, yeah. and that's what they were all laying on. They're literally laying on the bed, and then there's a bunch of minnows all around. That is our spot. That is exactly what we're looking for. All right, guys, so our trap is baited. Now we found a nice little sized rock. I wish the rock was a little bit bigger, but it'll do. We're gonna go right over to that little bed. It was right here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, right here. Okay. You can see this, right? Yeah. Now I gotta fill it up slowly. I need another rock. I told you the rock's too small. It's floating away. Oh crap. I don't even know where the bed is anymore. Two okay. feet that way. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you this. We're gonna go down a little bit more. I've already spooked everything that's here. There's fish all over us. I'm gonna go right in here. Holy crap. There's a, there's a thousand fish right there. There's a, literally a thousand little uh, like cichlids and... Okay, this is it. They like this coverage right here. That's what they like. Big rock going in. I'm trying to open up the hole. I'm digging like a little, like a little bit of clay ugh, out from in front of the hole. That's perfect. I just dug like a little, like perfect little cubby so then all the fish can swim right in. Look at all the fish. There's a hundred fish right here. Whenever you actually like kick up the dust, all the fish come over because there's like a bunch of like little like microorganisms living in the mud. And then it like pushes them to the surface and then they eat all of them. All right, Raw fam. So we actually on accident just chum the fishing spot. If you look right there, you see the fish trap way down there? Yeah. We're gonna go up and down this and see if we can scoop up some like cool, like colorful aquarium fish. There's hundreds of fish all around. And then we're gonna come back and check that little trap to see what the heck we catch. If we don't catch anything, so be it, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we catch something really freaking epic. I see, look, come here. There's actual big fish right there. I would not move, I would not move. You're gonna scare them. You're scaring them. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I got something. There was something on a bed right here. Come here. Oh my God. Look at all the mud on my feet. Ew. Oh, come on, please. All right, come here, look. See what I got. Uh, anything in there? Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh yes, oh yes. Hold on, let me put him in the water a little bit. Clean him off. What is this thing? He's obviously like a cichlid or something, but look at the bars on him. You see the bars? Yeah. That's really cool. So this right here is something. Uh, it's like some type of like cichlid or something. Um, he's, he's, he's going in. Guys, that's really freaking cool. That's pretty epic, right? Oh, that's where we have to go. Look at the bird. See the bird right there? There's a bird right there and she's actually wading through and she's actually trying to do exactly what we're trying to do But she's a lot more stealthy and she goes bah! So I think maybe the fish are over by those like sewer things So maybe we should try our luck over there. Oh, the bird's still there. Holy crap. I didn't even see the bird. The bird's still right there If I go Ew, Ew. Oh Ew Ugh. Oh my goodness Ew Ugh. Uh, that is disgusting. You can't even see the Miami Heat logo anymore. Bro, how do you think the fish trap's doing over there? I, I genuinely think because this canal is so filled with fish that we have to catch something. I'm, I'm, I'm very positive. There's another one of those fish right there. Whoa, there's actually a couple. Hold on. Can you see them right there? Zoom in right there. I'm gonna freaking dive in. I, I just want to get one. That's all I care about. Me, I'll find them. Oh, they can't see me. There's a glare on the water. Do you see them right there? Yeah, you're right where they are. Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 oh my God. Ew. Ow. Ew. Something bit me. Ow. Ow. I don't like this side. Ow. Oh. Why did I ever come out here without my crops on? Ow. Look at this. Ew. I completely missed them, by the way. I completely missed them. Yeah, I completely missed them, bro. There's not anything in this crap. I wonder if there's like any really, really small stuff. 
Yeah, like look, I got a little molly right here. Yeah, this is definitely a molly. See that? Wait, look at that. Look at that. Wait up. Come here. Come. Oh my god, it's another one of those fish! Oh my god! Wait, is it alive? Is it alive? Come on, buddy. Oh, he's alive! Oh my god, he's alive! Look at him, you see that thing? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that thing! He's so cute! Okay, I have to put him back in the bucket. Yeah. Because if not, then he will die. Oh, come on, buddy, please live. Come on. Bro, what? Yeah. Bro, what? What the heck? Okay, guys, I think that's wraps. I think we got enough of what we, we came here to do. I say we go back over, check the fish trap. If the fish trap did not work, we're gonna try again tomorrow morning. Is that cool? All right. Let's grab this. We got our little net. Hey, this thing paid for itself for sure. So on our way over here too, we caught a crayfish. So we're gonna try and keep like netting all these little holes on our way back to the truck and see if we can find like another crayfish cause I really like those. They're like my favorite fish. Oh, what the heck is that? What the heck is that? I could catch something massive right now. I'm gonna keep scooping. Oh, oh, right here. You see, did you hear that? Come here. Yeah. I had to on him. You, did you see that thing flop out? I heard him. Come on, is he in here? You're not gonna get something every scoop. Definitely stuff here though. Yeah, for sure. I, I scared something. All right guys, so I scared something right here and it jumped right in my face. And I saw like a little boil right here. All right. Let's keep it moving, folks. Keep it moving. Yeah, but there's 1,000% like little things living in all these little holes. Wouldn't be surprised if this, right? Oh my God. You see how far that hole goes back there? I know there's going to be a crayfish living in there. What the heck? Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, oh, he's peeing on me. Look at that. Look what we just caught in a hole. That's why you don't stick your hand in holes, guys. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Come here. Anything else? I'm gonna keep scooping until I get a crayfish. I know there has to be a crayfish. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Anything? No? Okay, I'm just gonna keep scooping. There has to be. Whoop, there goes that guy. Okay. Anything? Oh, there's one right there. Where? Right under you. Oh, right there. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Got you, bugger. Got him. Got him. So there we go. That's another little crayfish. He's a mean one. Oh, it's a female. It's a little female. Okay, you can tell because next to their like little tail, they have a bunch of little, oh, uh oh. They have a bunch of little like pinchers. Okay, here we go, go like that. Put you in the bucket. And then, as you just yelled, I could have swore I saw something else in here. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Another little crayfish. You scared the heck out of me because I thought I saw something in there, but I didn't think it was a crayfish. I thought it was like a water beetle. Well, now we got two. Yeah, no, now we got three. So put that little booger in there and then let me scoop it in there. It's kind of like mud. Oh my God. This hole goes so far back in there. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell was that? There's something bigger in there. Oh god. I'm, I swear to god. There's something bigger in there. Keep going. I, I don't want to though. Like I, I have to stick my whole hand in the hole. Look at this. What the? I ain't sticking my hand in that hole. You're out of your freaking mind. What do you think? A monster Mike? Oh my god. Oh my god. The freaking hole is so big. I ain't sticking my hand in there. Okay guys, if you guys want us to come back and stick our hand in the magical hole of doom, if we get 10,000 likes on today's video, we will come back and get whatever the heck is this long that's living in there because did you guys see that the thing kick water or whatever it was? Yeah. I, I have no idea. Well, fam, come, come here, come here. If you guys really want to see us stick our hand inside the hole of doom where I could potentially lose a freaking finger roll, fam, we're going to need 10,000 likes from all of you guys, and you guys are going to have to subscribe and click post notifications right now. Is, 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 this, is this the moment we've been waiting for? Like, we're just going to like hop into it right now? Yeah, yeah, no, that, literally, yeah, just stuff. Uh, just drop everything. 
and uh, just, just, just really go for it, right? <laughs> so, 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 subscribe, <laughs> like sub, like anime. <laughs> oh crap, this is the moment we've all been waiting for, guys. Don't say I don't do it for you guys. Okay. Uh-oh, the trap's breaking. Uh-oh. It's completely filled in mud. I can't move, by the way. Ow, I got a rock in my shoe. Ow. Oh. Do it for the raw fam. I'm trying, raw fam. Look, it's. I still got the subscribe, the subscribe thing on me, but. All right, are you guys ready? What the heck are we catching out here? How you doing, man? We got a big old fish, I think, hopefully. Yeah. Let's see, what do we got? Anything? What is that? Oh, we didn't get anything. Oh, what, what? Look, there's something right here. I think we got something. Something in there. Look, it's jumping. You see, it's jumping. Look at that. Look at that. Back up, back up. Look at that. Look at this, bro. That's pretty. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Don't let him die. I'm not. I could, I'm gonna take him home and be an aquarium pet. He just saw that. He can't believe his eyes. Holy crap, look at this. He's like, that thing's beautiful. All right, guys. This right here is like some type of like Oscar or something like that. That thing is gorgeous. That guy drove by before and he's like, <laughs> he's like, what, what you guys go for? I'm like, I don't know, some, some fish. I have something fun for us. I actually, I brought a little tank for the end of the video if we caught something cool. And I think this video deserves some help, some tribute. So we're gonna take the tank, fill it up, and I'm gonna show everybody everything we caught. All the, like the filter components were there. Frig! We just scared something right there. I think we're gonna have to come back and make more fish traps. Yeah, no, we're definitely gonna have to come back. If you guys are enjoying today's video, make sure you guys leave a fat thumbs up on it. This is definitely black tar water. I'm just letting you know I'm gonna need help. Oh my God, that water's crystal clear. I need help. I need help. Help, I need somebody help. Okay, I, I, I need help, not the tank. <laughs> Oh my God. Jeez, oh Pete, sorry, Raw fam. So we're bringing this up here. Woo. Wow, that took a lot out of me, man. Let me get, let me get a sip. I'm not, I'm not gross, come on, I have boundaries. Hi, Raw fam, so we have our raw fishing bucket. Oh, we already got one, look at this. Now I hope this guy lives, but he is really cute. I'm gonna put him in here. Go on, look, 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 there he goes. Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's still oh, alive. He's alive! He's alive in the aquarium. Here we go. I already see him. Look at him! Oh my goodness, they're so cool! Hi, Raw fam. So, the majestic beauty of the day, right there. Look at that. Wow. Look at her belly. It's so full. Yeah, she was in there. You know why her belly's so full? She had a lot of dinner. Yeah, she was eating all that chum that we put in there. All right, let me put her in here. Ready? See her? See that thing? Woo! Oh, look, they're battling in there. Look at them. Oh, wait, I don't want the little cichlid to get in the way. I, I think this might be a male. See how vibrant the colors are? Oh, yeah. Colors are really vibrant with males. Ready? Look at him. Go on, buddy. Wow. That is beautiful. All right, fam, now, last but not least, these guys that are, like, battling inside of this aquarium right here. Like, oh, crap. He came after me. <laughs> so this guy right here, he's pissed off. Oh my gosh. Look at his arm. The one arm's so much longer than the other one. So put that little booger in there. And then last but not least, this guy. He's an upside down crawfish <laughs> for now. <laughs> Ready? Whoop. All right, Raw fam. So if you guys enjoyed this video, look at all the cool colorful fish. We got that one, we got that one, we got a crayfish. There's that one guy in there. Now, I, I do think that the Oscar thing that was in there, we're gonna have to name that thing by, by the time we get back to the Raw Fam, and I think I have a really good name for it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, and you guys wanna see us do more epic fish traps just like this one, just make sure you're subscribed, and we're gonna get it done. Guys, we're gonna get back to the Raw Fam, and uh, we're gonna put all of these beautiful fish inside of that little mini ground pond with all the beautiful koi. Come down here. Grab one little crayfish. Be careful, these things will bite the living heck out of you. 
Okay, one right there. I got one. It's one with the big, one big claw and one little one. <laughs> nice. Look at that, bro. That is so sick, Raw fam. Look at that. That is so cool. Bro, you know what it kind of looks like? Kind of looks like a bee. <laughs> Here we go. That's the one we need right there. See how crazy he is? Look how crazy he is. He was not this lively before. Oh, this is gonna be a cool fish. Look at this little guy. This is gonna be a cool freaking fish. Look at his colors. Holy crap. That's the last one, right? Sir. Whoop. Perfect. All right, Raw fam, welcome to the new Raw fam. If you guys are old subscribers just tuning back in, this is the new backyard. I mean, it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Uh, it's completely turf, it's pavers, the whole nine. And this is my ground pond right here. It looks beautiful. Look, they actually are trained. See them coming up? See them coming up? Hold on. I'm actually gonna do something. I'm gonna turn off the waterfall so then all the fishies come up and maybe let's feed them a little bit. All right, guys. I got a little bit of koi food right in there. Now watch. I'm gonna go like that. And by the time we're done, those should be kind of nice and puffed up. If you guys come down here, we're gonna release a couple little fishies inside of this pond. This guy. What should we name that thing, bro? I mean. Blueberry. Blueberry? That's actually an amazing name. Kudos, kudos to you, that's an amazing name. This is Blueberry. This is our new cichlid right here. Her name is Blueberry, or his name is Blueberry, whatever it is. Go on, booger. Bye, Blueberry. <laughs> it would be really cool if you guys can keep up with the names on all the fish at the Raw Fam because blueberry is really cool. And then this little booger right here, that right there is like a, is like a cichlid, but he looks like a bee. Why don't we call him like Bumblebee, like the transformer guy? Yeah. That's pretty sick, right? Bum that's, that's Bumblebee, all right? And then these guys, we're never gonna really be able to name because we probably will never see him ever again. So these guys are just gonna be Larry. Larry the Lobster and Mrs. Claus. Oh my God, Mrs. Claus. That's a great one. Larry yeah. the Lobster and Mrs. Claus. Holy crap, that's great. Look, it's Mrs. Claus. Get it? Because they have claws. Look at that. That is sweet. Look at that. Boom. And then guys, the one that we have all been waiting for. Look at this little booger. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. That's beautiful, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So this right here is in honor of one of my best buddies right here. He used to have like a little Oscar like this and its name was Bongo. So this is Bongo 2.0. All right, Bongo. Welcome to your new pond, booger. Go on, Bongo. Welcome. Go have fun. He's like, what the heck? You guys released me in a pond? I never thought this would happen. That is so sweet, Rolf, fam. All right, guys, so that right there is gonna be the end of today's awesome, crazy adventure. If you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today, make sure you guys leave a fat thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe with post notifications on. We're gonna be posting every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, long format, and then trickled in throughout the rest of the week is going to be all of our shorts, like little bro videos with mom and little sis and all of those guys, and then the alligator junta <laughs> with all those awesome, crazy adventures. But as you guys can see, this food is a little bit more puffed up, and uh, I think, if I throw this out there, the koi fish, you see that? You think they're trained? But if you guys are enjoying today's awesome, crazy adventure, I'm super glad. Raw fam, I love you guys so much, and thank you guys so much for watching the videos and just being there on time, persistent, <laughs> because starting now, Whoever the first person is that actually comments on the videos, I'm gonna be commenting back to like the first 10, 15 of you guys, no matter what. So Raw Fam, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I think it's about time to wrap this video up. I love you Raw Fam and I'll see you later. Bye!